Hello, my name is Jessica Morin, and I'm doing an analysis of vase 202629, which depicts the myth of Perseus and the Gorgons. Some background information of the vase itself is that it dates back to 500 to 450 BCE and originates in Athens. The shape itself is called stamnos, and the technique used is red figure. The painting is attributed to the artist called Siren P and is currently in the Louvre, cataloged as G180. As I explained in my first source analysis of this myth, the background information is that King Polydectes of Seraphis, which Perseus and his mother landed after being tossed into the sea by his grandfather, is taken by his mom and tricks Perseus into trying to get the head of Medusa. So, an interesting thing about this vase before I move on is that it has two sides depicting two separate myths. The first myth on the first side is of Heracles and Apollo and their struggle for the tripod. But as I said before, we will focus on Athena attacking the Gorgon and Perseus fleeing. And some interesting things about this picture is that it only has three figures, while in the original myth it involves all three Gorgon sisters, Athena, Perseus, and the god Hermes. Another thing is that it only has one Gorgon sister, it doesn't have the other one, nor does it have Medusa, and the fact that the figures are overlapping is interesting to me, since the other vase that I looked at was very spread out, and there was and in this one, there is no main character, or at least one that is larger than the others or has most, more space around him to focus attention on. Starting from left to right, we'll, we'll, we will focus first on the Gorgon. Here we see her in a almost fighting stance. You can tell that the left or right arm is raised and that she has some sort of object in her hand. We do know that this is a Gorgon, obviously by the wings. Um, that she has, even though the picture is kind of hazy, you can kind of tell there is something coming off of her head, most likely the serpents that are usually attached to the sol shoulders, at least in the Hesiod's myth of her. She is facing towards Athena and attacking her, most likely to avenge her, fall her recently fallen sister, Medusa. Next, we will focus again on Athena who, of course, we know is Athena because of her iconography of being in full body armor, which we can tell by the helmet that she is wearing, and also that she is carrying a shield. Her shield, interestingly, has the symbol of the Triskelion or the Triskeles, which is three bent human legs. While there's no actual evidence what the symbolism of the Triskeles is, some say it might mean the triple goddess Hecate, which I find interesting. Again, Athena is facing towards the Gorgon, attacking her, most likely protecting Perseus as he leaves with Medusa's head. There's the overlapping feet of them. Again, when I was talking about the overlapping of all the characters, I found this interesting, along with the shield overlapping with the Gorgon's wing. Moving on, we see the fleeing Perseus. You know he is running because of the hit the body action where his knee is bent, his other leg is pointing outwards. You can tell the movement of his body through it. He is holding most presumably a bag in his hands, although when I first saw it, I thought it was some sort of guitar or a musical instrument, but it's most likely the bag that holds Medusa's head since he needed that in order to carry it off. His body language is kind of fearful if you kind of if you think of the way he is fleeing, how he's not turning back towards the Gorgon to look at anything. He is getting away and he is trying to protect himself. Overall, while the painting is kind of hazy to see in the pictures, there are multiple details that show the scene and prove evidence towards it and is quite detailed when you look closer at it. Thank you for listening.